In this video, I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. Hello everyone, welcome along to the Savage Filmmaker. I am Guy Pigden and this is going to be probably the second episode in my series on the black magic cinema camera pocket 6k pro what a mouthful i can never get it all the right way around but um essentially i want to talk about this camera i want to break down this camera um there's quite a few people that are thinking about buying this camera and for me as an independent filmmaker this camera obviously piqued my independent filmmaking interests one issue that we have at the time of making this video is that because they've changed the uh, shape of the Pocket 6K Pro um, from the Pocket 6K, there's no cages available currently for this system. So there's no cages that we can put around this camera to help rig out the camera and make it as good and as functional as it can be. So today what I'm gonna do is show you how to create a rig just from a top handle to have all the features, microphone, SSD, everything connected. And the great thing is, it's not gonna cost you much money. You may already have some of the parts and with a few extra parts from Small Rig, um, we can build out this camera to have everything that it needs, especially for run and gun shooting. We only have this quarter 20 screw on the top here. So to attach everything, it has to be through this screw, which is not ideal, but we're gonna make the most of it. So. The first thing that I want to do is I'm going to put a small NATO rail on the top here. This is my NATO rail here. I've just pinched it from something else. It's actually missing a, a little pin for this. It's going to be perfect. So, so I'm just going to yeah, screw this onto the top piece here. The second part that we need is our top handle to go on the NATO rail. I have picked this old C200 top handle so I use a C200 that's what's recording this video um, but I don't like the top handle but I do like it for the purposes of this now I know what you're gonna say guy I don't have a C200 top handle well that's okay because I've got in my description links a option for another top handle from Neetzi um, which is gonna have all the same functionality as this top handle it's a great top handle so you can just sub out this top handle for the Neetzi one and everything should uh, work pretty much exactly the same. But the issue is this is a screw on and this is a NATO rail. Now, why didn't I screw this directly onto the quarter 20? Well, because I wanna be able to easily clip it on and clip it off without having to screw it every time and eventually damage the screw threads. Because I've got this little piece from Small Rig, another little piece, this is a NATO rail um, quick release clip. Um, that just locks into place and I'm going to put that on the bottom of my top handle um, by screwing it on and I'm just we I've just had to add this little thread in here to make it the right size so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my top handle and I'm going to uh, basically connect it like this so you can see it on the top view here I've just screwed this through which is just the cannon mount straight through to this. Okay, so I've just clipped that on. Obviously, if you're using the Neetzi top handle, you can have a built-in NATO rail and you don't need this extra piece. But for us, I'm just gonna clip this on here. Okay, so now we can see NATO rail to the NATO clamp. The NATO clamp connects to the top handle and we're all good to go. Just for run and gunning, that may be all you want to do, but Let's build this out a little bit further. There is nowhere to put our external um, SSD. I have this piece from Small Rig. So this is the piece from Small Rig. Um, you can purchase cheaply. I'll put a link in the description. But this little piece here is the SSD card holder. And I'm gonna put this on the back um, in this quarter 20 thread at the back of my handle. I just have this attached at the back um, and that's where I'm going to put my SSD now. If we can see here, now I've got the SSD on the back, but what about sound? So we still need sound. So I'm going to do two little things here. 
is I've got this other piece from Small Rig. So just holding that up, but should be able to see that from the top view. And it, it has a little spot for a 15 millimeter rail. And then it just has a quarter 20 screw. So I'm gonna screw that into the front of the top handle. Cool, so now we've got that on the front. And what we need now is a small 15 millimeter rod. So just a small 15 millimeter rod, just from small rig again. And we're gonna thread that through the top and out to the side a little bit. And we're gonna tighten that. So now we have a little front piece on here. I'm now gonna attach my microphone to that because we wanna record audio. So again, I've got this little small rig piece here. It slides through on the 15 millimeter rail and it goes in here. So if you can see that on the top down view. This is a great little thing and it's just a little microphone holder again from small rig. Uh, link will be in the description. So we just screw that on. Boom. So I'm gonna grab a spare microphone and I'm gonna screw it on. Plug that in here. So now we've got uh, one of our microphones plugged in and we've got our SSD on the back. If we do want to add a radio mic as well, we can still do that and we can still do that all on this top handle. Um, so I'm just gonna add one more thing and that is gonna be another piece from Small Rig. So I've got these little quarter 20 mounts on the top, so I'm gonna mount a cold shoe to that. Again, we'll make sure it's nice and tight, as tight as it can be. So now we've got our cold shoe on the top. We can see here, just on the top. And that's where we're gonna put our radio microphone. So I'm just gonna take my little Rode uh, Wireless Go, and I'm gonna clip it in, like so. And I'm just gonna run that into the 3.5 millimeter jack on the side. There you have it, that is basically the top handle Pocket 6K Pro setup. Is it perfect? No, absolutely not. Would I rather have a cage? Maybe. So this is just a great temporary solution for those who do not have a cage for their 6K Pro. We can do it all with the top handle. It's still pretty maneuverable. It's still pretty flexible. It's gonna give us all the options we need. And the other beauty of it is if I just unplug everything now, and then I just unhook the NATO rail. And there we go. Everything just comes straight off. And we're back to operating just the camera. So that has been my quick fix top handle rig for the Pocket 6K Pro. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. I've got lots more 6K Pro videos planned and that I'm thinking of that will hopefully help you uh, with your new camera. Um, so as always, I'm Guy Pigden. Thank you very much and I'll see you on the next one.